And ladies and gentlemen, game two of Cloud versus Oh Boy. Oh Boy is up in the series currently. One to nothing. If they win this game, they will be the last team for EU and internationals. If they lose, then we go to a game three. Cloud, Grozovoy, Cabby, Daring, Cabby, Stalingrad, Sevastopol, Stalingrad, St. Vincent, Ohio. Oh boy, Gearing, Ragnar, Daring, Gearing, Des Moines, Salem, Brisbane, Mecklenburg, and St. Vincent. So we're really seeing some different stuff here. Um, yeah, we are really seeing some different stuff here. A couple reminders, Rugamo and Kremlin were the bands. That's why you're not seeing any of those, but man. So, some very interesting stuff here. First off, the double Kaba and Groves is intriguing. We have not seen a lot of that. Sevastopol, I don't think I've seen any of. Uh, double Stalingrad, St. Vincent. Mecklenburg, this is the first time I've seen a Mecklenburg. Uh, the far more normal lineup for the side of... Oh boy, as to what we've seen. This is a unique one from Cloud. And so, I'm intrigued to see how they execute this with Double Kaba grows. But let's watch and see how they're going to split out. And so early shots are in. They do see the uh, Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg takes a bit of a chunk there. Already on fire, having to run immediately away. Pops the DCP, but down to 76,000. So a good start there from Cloud. Nice early damage. And that really was a difference last game. Oh, but let's watch these shots in here. That really was the difference last game is the battleship damage early on. Neutered Cloud's battleships. 20k chunk off the Stalingrad. One of those is a Citadel. That hurts quite a lot. Reunited. Moving away. He's in the St. Vincent. He manages to dodge. Keep an eye out for the shots. This is going to be brutal at A. Gearing Brisbane, Mecklenburg versus Gros, Kaba, Kaba, St. Vincent does not feel good. I do love this setup. From both teams here. I like the Daring being over here. In this little nook. I like that they've got a Ragnar support. Though the Stalingrad is double Stalingrad there can be brutal. So the Daring can see the Stalingrads. Daring does have the ability to drop Torps, though that little nook of the island will make it hard to hit. Shots out on the Vincent. Vincent takes a bit of a damage. He's down about 10k health. Health advantage 70k in favor of the side of Cloud. Keep an eye out. And now the Ragnar starts to farm down the Stalingrad. They get the fire on the Stalingrad. Shots out on the Ohio. Ohio takes 24,000 damage. And these battleships are just trading punch after punch. It's heavyweights going at it there. Ohio's response. De La Vega says, you know what? Let's take a look. Let's respond. Maybe he gets a 7k response. Not as good. Both Stalingrads of uh, Cloud are taking some not feeling great. I mean, to be down 20k on one and 14k on the other does not feel good early on. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Brisbane Radar, now they know that, and the gearing immediately starts to run away. They know that he's in a world of danger. Shots out on the Grows. They're going to get some really good damage on WWW. Um, and then they're going to have to retreat. So they get a 5k first salvo. Salvos after that haven't hit. Eight seconds left on the radar. You really want to get him down at least 10k here. Remember, he does have the heals. There's another big hit. He's going to get one more salvo off before he gets dark. And they do get that damage they were looking for. Down to 12-2. He's going to pop the heal, and he had to pop the DCP. But that's the damage you want to get. And actually, the Brisbane gets to stay in there because the cabbie is opened up. And so... Advantage for Brisbane here, getting to put some farm into stuff here. Ragnar of D United Force back. Daring of Control, Controller Kill has to smoke up and move forward. He jumps the Torps, though those won't hit. And Squirrel takes another chunk. Down to 34k, he has really become the focus target. He's in a world of pain right now. 
He doesn't have a heal or a DCP right now, and man, he's not... I don't think he dies before the O comes up, but being on fire that much really hurts. You can see it ticking 700 a second, basically. Five seconds to heal. He is dark. He'll get the heal off, but it's just how much damage he's taken. And look, the heal's not even stopping the fire. Like, the heal, all it's doing is slowing down death right now. It's gonna be tight here. I think he's gonna live... ...because of the heal. Instant DCP. He will live, but man, that feels brutal that your heal only got you up to 6,900 health. St. Vincent of Angel Killer, Cloud is on the move here. This is very aggressive from them, and I'm all for this. I love this control they're wrapping over B here. Because what they're doing is B is now fully in their control. There's no way for them to challenge for the side of, oh boy. Watch these torps, though. Watch these torps. Oh, and the Brisbane of Balance Department gets farmed out by the Stalingrad. First blood goes to the side of Cloud. There's that they wanted. St. Vincent does have a DCP. He will take one Torp down to 30k. Does not need to pop the DCP at least yet. And so we're seeing this rapidly turn. We got this advantage line. Sevastopol trying to kite away and live as long as possible. He has not used the heal yet. Salem and Gearing trying to get him out of here. Because you see the rap coming here. Stalingrad spotted again. He's used the DCP. 13 seconds to the next heal. Down to 5200. How much more can they get on him? He's going to get the heal off. It really just becomes a... How much they get? They don't get anything. Daring of controller kill. Really in danger now. And man, Cloud come to play this game. Ohio down to 42,000. He does have the DCP. There's the DCP pop. Stalingrad uses his second to last heal, but now the Daring starts trying to farm him in again, and he's on a fire that he can't put out, so that'll slow down the heal. Let's take a look at this Sevastopol. Sevastopol's got the heal, and this is the advantage if you're going to use a kiting Sevastopol. The heal is forever. Like, look, still got 40 seconds left. There's a permafire. That'll, uh slow down the heal temporarily but right now i really really even though their health pools are pool and there they go they get the saint vincent of angel killer i do like cloud's positioning right now with the double cap and the almost 300 point lead this kaba grows a kaba is doing a lot of work here for the side of cloud and until they get something dead here which they're in a problem spot because there's a lot of health there that is going to be enough prime position to decide the game. Sevastopol's heals finally down. Sevastopol down to 45. And dropping with a burn. Ohio using his heal. He'll have three left. They get the Stalingrad of BS Squirrel though, ladies and gentlemen. They get the Stalingrad behind on the uh, push here. Or no, sorry. That was the Brisbane's death there. They get the Stalingrad, and that kill is major. That buys another set of time for the side of, oh boy, and now they're starting to farm back on them. Stalingrad of Sham, still low. Daring of Controller kill, though, very liable to go down right here. 25 seconds to the heal. He will get the DCP up. He's trying to run away, and now, oh boy, moving forward. And this has just become such a precarious game state. The Grozovoy of Pawkeck goes down, but they're going to lose the gearing for it, ladies and gentlemen. So Smoke Se Bot Sebi goes down, Cloud trades that one back. Now the Tomokas turns to the Kabarosk of Charge. He does have heals left, there goes the heal pop. Shots in from the Mecklenburg, and this might be why you bring the Mecklenburg right there. Massive damage. Cabby down to 5300 in healing. Daring spotted, and now the Des Moines challenging the Daring. Ragnar and Cabby will break contact, say that it's not worth the fight right now, but here comes another salvo from the mech. Cabby does not have a DCP ready. He does take a fire. That will not kill, but that'll lower his health. And the Daring of Russian really 
lucky there. Sevastopol, 60 seconds away from the next heal, still trying to run down the edge of the map. They might have him now, but it's a 300 point lead in climbing right now for the side of Cloud. They're down 120,000 health though. Here comes the farm onto the mech. Mech doesn't have a heal for a while. They're going to get as much as they can on him, and this is what they really want to do. Ragnar doesn't have any more heals, so that is danger. Daring doesn't have any more heals, so there's a lot of danger still here. St. Vincent's heal is up, but he's at 48k. He's not going to use that for a while. Sevastopol down to 29 seconds. He's just running that border as much as possible. He should get off another heal. Ohio of De La Vega healing right now, but down to 17-6. And Sevastopol forced to use the DCP. Here comes the heal, though, so he will live. And this is why a Sevastopol is such a pain in the butt. Three minutes now in change until the side of Cloud wins this. They're trying to finish this off. The cabbie is spotted. It's going to use the heal. They're getting damage back onto the Ragnar. Remember, Ragnar can't heal. Sevastopol takes Gearing Torps, though, and there's the kill they were looking for up north. Buys them some more time and puts them up by two ships. Kabarov's really trying to finish uh, D United off. D United not smoking. He's trying to get dark. But I think that Cloud has got him. We'll see here. Down to 1382. Salvo's in, he just gets dark in the nick of time. And Mecklenburg, Eternal Titan, shots out. Can he trade it back? Not quite. The DCP comes in. Cloud Curse Suffering will stay alive. And it's back down to three minutes until the side of Cloud wins. Can they hold this game off? Ohio of De La Vega using his last heal. St. Vincent of Reunited still has plenty of heals left. Shots in, only about 5k off, and there's the heal on Reunited. And now the Des Moines into B. Mecklenburg gets the Kabarovs, ladies and gentlemen. And that is now a three-ship lead for the side of Oh Boy. Daring of Russian Alush Alushka, Alushka, Al Alyoshka? Is going to find Controller Kill and should have the advantage there on that one. He's got... 10,000 health lead. And he'll see the Torps coming around the island. De La Vega, no heals left. On the run. And at this point, I think Oh Boy's positioning is... I like Oh Boy's positioning a lot better now. Russian Alyoshka pushes through. They'll spot each other here in a second. He will have the advantage, though. 12,000 health. This should be a dead... Uh... This should be a dead controller kill. A lot of damage that he's getting back, but it's not enough to kill. DCPU, 6,000 health remaining, and now he's going to be able to free cap C. Only thing stopping him would be Salem Raider, and that's not in position. Stalingrad of Sham. Moving forward, trying to dodge. He knows he's got the Des Moines coming up behind him. And so he's moving forward. He wants to try to help. I mean, the Ohio of De La Vega down to 60 HP. And he's going to go down right there, ladies and gentlemen. Shots in, 29k, 21k left on the St. Vincent, but here's his heal pop, and that's going to be the end of the Stalingrad. Des Moines coming right up here behind. St. Vincent drops the Wiggle Torps. Daring will take C, try to buy some time, but it will be too little, and the St. Vincent just deletes the Stalingrad. Down to just two DDs left, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, we'll win this game. They will win the series, and they are going on to internationals at this point. There's just not enough points on the board. For the side of Cloud. And the Daring and Ragnar trade each other out there, which is just... The Cabros of Curse Suffering knows that it's over. 
He's down to 5,000 health. I mean, yeah. He just stops. He accepts his fate. Shots are in. He just shoots to keep himself spotted. Cloud will not go on to internationals. Oh boy, we'll take the series. They will win 2-0. And they claim the final international spot for the EU region.